Hey everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts. I know, it's actually me. I normally just wave in the beginning of my videos, but I'm just gonna give this a shot. I don't like being on camera, but I am going to be taking some Dollar Tree blanks today and I am going to um, use my Cricut and fix them up. So these are the ones that I'm gonna do. I have this little, um, oh, what the heck do you call it? <laughs> Cutting board thing from Dollar Tree this picture frame and then I have this picture frame from Dollar Tree also I have this little love sign and I have this little mason jar cut out so let's get to it project number one cutting board all right so I got my cutting board here um I am going to take this off of here for right now because I am going to be painting this probably going to put it back on and if you look here, right here, there is paper. The paper, they didn't put it on very good and it's kind of sticking off. So I am actually just going to take my um, sanding block that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna make that flush so it, the paper is not hanging off. Okay, now that I have that all sanded down, I'm gonna take my elephant chalk paint and I am going to paint the front of the sign and I'm probably going to need a couple coats on here to make sure that I get this all covered. Okay so I put two coats of paint on here and then I also painted the sides. Now this is actually going to be my back, the one with the picture on it. I just wanted the back to look nice without having that other thing on there. I'm actually going to use the front of this so I am going to get, um, I think one coat should be enough. So I'm going to get one coat of paint on the back side of my sign, which is going to be the front. Okay, now that it is all painted, I'm going to take my Waverly White Chalk Paint, and I'm going to put a little bit of distressing on there. Um, if you ever watch any of my videos, you know that I love the dark gray with the white on there. So I'm just going to go around the edges, and then I'm just going to put a little bit on my board, and then I'm probably going to sand it a little bit so I don't have big white splotches. Okay, now that I have that on there, I'm just going to take my sanding block on the not as coarse side and I am just going to lightly sand this a little bit. Okay, now that I have that ready to go, I'm going to take some of this um, contact paper, this clear contact paper that I got from Dollar Tree, and I have my little um, sign or my little words that I cut out from Design Space. Um, all the projects that I use or the vinyl that I cut was all from Design Space. So unfortunately, if you want those, you're gonna have to uh, um, be able to have access to Design Space. Or you could just make your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this on here. Okay, I have my vinyl on here. I'm just gonna peel the backing. Well, oh, must not have it on there the best. Let's try that again. All right, and then I'm going to do my best to try to center this on my cutting board. I think that looks pretty good. All right, and then I'm just gonna squeegee this on and then I am going to carefully remove my contact paper. Then I got some of this Dollar uh, ribbon from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna make a little bow to go on the top here. And I'm just gonna kind of measure it out. I don't want it too long because I don't want it to cover anything up. And then I have this Baker's Twine that I just recently got at Dollar Tree. And I am going to use that to tie my bow. So let me get this bow made and then we will finish off this project. All right, so I had to cut off a little chunk of ribbon here and I am gonna put this on here first. So I'm just gonna hot glue this down. Hot glue. Just like that. And then I am going to stick my little bow on there that I made.
So that is project number one using Dollar Tree blanks and a Cricut. Project number two, frame. All right, now we have the small picture frame. So I already started taking this apart. Um, I'm gonna pull this out and then I'm gonna try my best to get these beads out of here. See if I can get underneath those staples. Otherwise, maybe I can see if I have a stable puller. Oh, nope, it just broke. I guess we're just gonna rip it right off then. Okay, well I guess the staples are just gonna stay in the frame. I am going to set that aside for right now and then what I'm gonna do is I have this piece of scrapbook paper that I just had laying around and I am gonna go ahead and cut this to fit on this back of this frame. Okay, I have that all cut out. Then I'm just gonna take my glue stick. I don't wanna chance the Mod Podge and the paper all rippling up. So I am just gonna take bunch of my glue stick here and put it on here and then I'm going to attach my paper onto there. Okay, now that I have my paper on there, I am going to take off um, or take my Cricut cutout that I did. It says life is better with a dog and I am going to put that right onto the paper here. Make sure this is all stuck on good. And I am reusing that same contact paper that I used on the last one. I'm going to try to reuse this one on all five of my projects. Okay, and then I am going to arrange this in the middle. Okay, according to my Blockbuster ruler, um, it looks like it's on pretty even. So, oh, well, looks like I just put a hole in my contact paper. Well, we're still going to try to use it. All right. All right, it is on there. And then I am going to put this back in my frame. This is a super simple, easy project. Oh, that looks so cute. I think it needs a little something on the bottom though. I might have to see if I can find something to put on there. Then what else I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these beads here and I am going to lightly cover them with my um, Waverly chalk paint. So let me get that finished. Okay, I have my beads all painted that great color and then I went ahead and I put them right back on the um, rope that was on there. And what I'm going to do is I want to hot glue these, but I want them to stand up. I don't want them to like all hang over and be goofy looking. So I am going to stick a little bit of hot glue on my actual bead here and kind of stick it to the top, right above where that clip was or that staple was to hold it on. Okay, now that that's on, then I am going to stick a little bit on this other side over here. And I'm going to set my bead on there. I'm going to make sure that I have this pulled nice and tight. Because like I said, I want this to stand up. So I'm going to glue that and then glue this little strand on the back here yet. Okay, so apparently the hot glue is not holding that. So I am going to get out my super glue gel here that I got from Dollar Tree. Hopefully it's not too dried up. And I am going to stick some of that on there. And hopefully that will hold it. Okay, so apparently the super glue didn't work either. I think I'm going to have to get my E6000 out and it's going to have to sit overnight to get this glued up here. The last thing that I want to do um, with this is I just have these little flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I just thought they would really look cute in the bottom of the sign down here. So I'm just going to go ahead and Hot glue those right in there. And just kind of, yeah, just like that. It would have looked fine by itself, but I just th thought this would just gives it a little bit extra. Right, and there it is. And besides the fact that I have to try to figure out how to get these to these to stay on here, it is finished. And that is project number two, using a Dollar Tree frame and a Cricut vinyl. Project number three, larger frame. 
All right, now I have my last picture frame. And what you're gonna do with this one, it literally just pops right open. Um, I was kind of looking at this and, oh, I don't have my lights on. And, hold on. So I was kind of looking at this and this goes right through the plastic here. My initial thing was I was gonna take this off and then put my paper on the plastic, but I think there's gonna be a big hole here trying to take this off. Yeah, and it's really, it's really on there. It goes all the way right through. So I am going to take this as my little template here. I'm just gonna set this aside. And then I have some scrapbook paper. You can use any scrapbook paper you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my scrapbook paper out. And actually it's, it's a, more like cardstock. It's a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna cut out two pieces the exact same size of this. Okay, I have my traced out. I'm gonna throw that aside for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut my cardstock. Okay, I have my two pieces of cardstock cut out. Now I have my um, vinyl that I cut for my Cricut, or I cut with my Cricut. And I have two little sayings. Um, they're little coffee sayings, and they're gonna go on the scrapbook paper here but I wanna make sure I get good placement. So I'm gonna stick this. This is gonna sit probably about like that in there. And then flip this around. And I'm, yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this and then try to put it on there. I'm probably gonna put it right about here. And I I think that looks pretty centered. All right, I'll stick that right on there. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to push that on there pretty good. Okay, so that one is on, and then I have another one with a totally different thing. And that one is actually gonna go on the other side, because why not? make things double-sided. You can switch it up as you want. It's like having two, two crafts. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one on this piece of scrapbook paper. Okay, I have both my sides done and now I'm gonna snap my picture frame together. Um, I thought about it and I thought about painting the frame because I'm not really a big fan of the black plastic, but I know plastic's really hard to get um, paint to stick to, so I'd probably have to Mod Podge it or something, and I'm really not in the mood to do that. So here is my first side and my second side. And then the last thing I think I'm gonna do is I made these bows, and I'm gonna stick these bows on the bottom here at the base. So I am just gonna cut my little ties off here. And then get my hot glue on. And then glue this right to the base down here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, I was trying to figure out something else I could do for this, but I really think this is just the way it's gonna be. So that is side number one, and that is side number two, and it is all finished. So that is the end of project three. Project number four, love sign. Okay, now I am on to the Love Lives Here sign. And what I want to do is I'm going to take um, this stuff off of here that's on here and start with more of a blank canvas. So it's going to take a little bit, but I'm going to get this off of here. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this is I am going to take my um, Ink Waverly Chalk Paint and I am going to try to very carefully I'm gonna paint over this right here and this, but I'm gonna leave the, I think I'm gonna try to leave the cardboard sides on here. So I am gonna try to just put a coat of this on here, probably two coats over that. And I'm just gonna very carefully try to get it so it doesn't drip on the sides or anything. Okay, now that I have that all painted, um, basically what I wanted to do is I wanted to cover up the lives here because I'm gonna replace it with the same words, but I'm gonna replace it. And then I did, I just wanted everything to look uniform, so I didn't want the paint to be different. Now I'm gonna um, take my elephant gray chalk paint here and I'm gonna paint the outside of this circle. 
So this is going to take me a little bit because I'm going to have to be really careful around these edges here. So I'm going to get this all painted with the elephant chalk paint all the way around. Okay, now that I have all that painted, um, I have my little love um, libs here, my vinyl, and I'm still reusing my contact paper. It is getting less and less stickier every time I use it, but it is still working. So I'm going to get this off of here. Now I could have just, I guess I could have left the love or the lids here, but um, I cut the words with my Cricut because they just are going to look a little bit fancier than the lettering that was on there. So I'm going to try to line this up on here. Oh, I think that already looks so much better. That little, the lettering with a different font, I really think really changes the whole thing. Okay, then I have some flowers from Dollar Tree, these purple flowers, and I think I am going to use these and kind of put them, yeah, I think I'm gonna use the ones with the leaves. I'm gonna cut those and arrange those onto my sign. So, just pick those two out. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to, when I glue them on, just kind of make sure I glue the, the petals down a little bit too so it's not right, right on top of each other. But I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to cut these stems down a little bit here. I'm just gonna try to get them nice and even to the flowers. So they're about, the leaves are hitting in about the same spot. And they're the same length. All right, and then what I was gonna do is I was going to use some jute and wrap the stems with the jute, but I don't know, I got this baker's twine or cotton twine from Dollar Tree. They had a whole bunch of it. And I think what I wanna do is I wanna wrap the twine around the ends of my stems. Okay, so I think this is gonna look good. So I am just gonna wrap the baker's twine around the stem, kind of pushing it down as I go, because I'm just gonna leave these ends just like this. All right, get a little hot glue. Glue that on there. And I think I might make a little bow too. All right, I'm gonna get my other one done. Okay, I got my them all done. So I'm gonna pick which side I'm thinking I want my flowers to go on. So now I am gonna have to hot glue this, but I'm gonna have to hold it for a while so that I know that it stays. Cause if it comes back up, it's just gonna be a mess. So I'm just gonna start with a little bit here. Right there, and stick this on here, and then hold it down. And then I'm just going to kind of shape it, and I'm going to hot glue it going up like this. All right, I have that one hot glued on, and then I think I'm going to go like here. I'm not trying to like be even, super even sides or anything like that. I'm just kind of gluing it on anywhere. All right, I'm gonna get this one glued up then. Great, I have that one on. And then I was thinking, I made these little twine bows and I think I'm gonna stick them on my flowers here. I think that would look really cute. So I just used my baker's twine and just made two little bows that I'm gonna attach right here at the base of my flowers. and push too hard. Get these straightened out a little bit. Oh, the hot glue just fell right off that one. All right, and then I think I might just cut these down just a little bit. That one doesn't look too bad. All right, and then that is it. It is finished. I think it looks way better. I think it turned out really cute. Um. I guess you'll have to let me know what you think, but that is project number four using a Dollar Tree sign and uh, vinyl that I cut with my Cricut. And project number five, 
mason jar. All right, mason jar craft. I am finally on my last one, number five. Okay, <clears throat> so what I want to do is I want to get this off of here. We're going to strip this down. So I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to see if I can peel this off. Um, I think maybe I'm going to need to heat it up with my heat gun to pry that off of there. All right, I heated it up a little bit, but it looks like it's just kind of sticking to the paper. So I'm just going to get that popped off of there. I'm going to take a little bit of this paper off of here. But I think what I want to do to the back here is I'm actually going to rip this paper right off of here. And then um, I'm probably going to sand it down. And I think I'm actually going to, I'm going to use this for my back. But I'm still going to paint it because I'm going to be selling it. So I want my back to look really nice. Okay, I have this all cleaned off here. Now, this was my part with the paper side. It actually came out pretty clean. And this is the back side, which is the side that I'm going to use. And I got these little half beads at Dollar Tree, or not Dollar Tree, at Amazon. And... Um, this is just totally optional. You don't have to put these on, but I'm just looking for a little bit of texture on this project. So I am just going to take these little beads here and I'm going to use some of my wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree. And I am going to put them on the bottom of my mason jar. Okay, I have all of those on there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my elephant chalk paint, which everybody knows is my favorite, and I'm going to give this whole thing a coat of the elephant chalk paint. I'm going to do the front, the sides, and the back. Okay, it is all painted. It looks pretty good. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, of course, is I'm going to take my Waverly White chalk paint, and I'm going to dry brush some white on here. This seems to be my theme for stuff I'm doing today. So, I'm just going to try to lightly go over this. I'm trying not to put too much on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the front, to the sides, and to the back to make it all uniform. Okay, so the dry brushing is all done. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hot glue this back on. But I got to wait for my glue gun to heat up. But I'm just going to set that for now. And then I have my last um, vinyl sticker. I do have it on that same transfer tape. And we'll see. It's losing its stickiness. This is actually gonna be gonna be it for this. It's not gonna work anymore after that. And I am going to arrange my little sign on here. So all five of these projects pretty easy. And to be quite honest, I mean you could it doesn't take that long to make all of them, and you could definitely sell all these at a craft show if you were inclined to do so. That's what I'm actually going to be doing. We're having a rummage slash craft sale in a month and I am preparing for it. So let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks really cute. All right, so now we'll see how my hot glue gun's still heating up. Okay, I think it is hot enough. So I'm gonna get some glue all over this and then I am going to place it back in its spot. All right, now I'm gonna take some jute and I am going to wrap it around on here. Just gonna stick a little bit on here to get it attached to the back. And then I'm gonna wrap it around here a few times That should be plenty. And then hot glue it right to the back. Okay, and then I have just a tiny, tiny little chunk of ribbon left from my Dollar Tree ribbon. And I'm gonna see if I can tie a little bow here. All right, so I got my little baby bow made here. And that is just gonna get attached right up here in the middle. And it's just a neat, tiny little bowl. And nothing that's going to cover up the wording. All right, well, that is it. That is project number five, using a Dollar Tree blank and a Cricut vinyl. 
Okay, that is it. That is all of them. Um, you'll have to let me know which one you think looks the best. I'm sitting here trying to decide right now. I don't know. Um, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I'm not really so much into that one, but I think that it, um, the cutting board turned out really cute and the dog sign and the home sweet home, and that looks way better than it did when I bought it. But that is all five of them. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope you subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when I upload and take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.